Welcome to Biostock. Danish biopharma company Sanyona is focused on developing treatments for epilepsy. With its lead candidate going into phase two now, the company is raising capital through a rights issue. Joining me in the studio to tell us more is Sanyona's CEO, Thomas Feltus. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you, Michael. Well, your, your drug development program is focused on ion channel modulation. Could you tell us a little bit about ion channels? What are they and how do they fit into your mission? Right. So, so ion channels are found in membrane of all cells and where they play a very important function. And um, uh, an imbalance in ion channels cause diseases such as epilepsy and major depression disorders. Um, it's a uh, validated target for many therapeutic approaches. It's been used for treatment of diabetes, hypertension, epilepsy, anxiety, and many more. Mm. Um, these drugs are considered as essential medicines mm -hmm. uh, by United Nations, despite that they are very unselective and come with significant side effects. And, and we have a, a discovery platform which enable us to produce very selective ion channel modulators with improved efficacy and fewer side effects. And this is what we are planning to do here, and particularly in epilepsy. Well, you mentioned the fact that ion channels, targeting ion channels uh, is, um, makes you go into other indications as well, not only epilepsy. However, Sanyona is focused on epilepsy. Why is that? Because there's a significant medical need here. Mm. Um, about 30% of the patients are considered assistant to the existing therapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a lot of people, 2 million people in Europe and, and US combined. Uh, and uh, then when it comes to uh, childhood epilepsy, the situation is even worse. Mm -hmm. And uh, epilepsy is, con is uh, caused by an uncontrolled signal mm -hmm. of neurons in the brain caused by an imbalance in ion channels. Mm -hmm. And we have a deep knowledge of two targets, GABA uh, receptors and KV7 receptors. And these targets are right now considered as some of the most important for developing new drugs, novel drugs, safe drugs, and effective drugs in, in this field mm -hmm. to address these medical needs. Well, I'd like to talk a little bit about your lead candidate, SAN711. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about this candidate and uh, does it have to do with these targets you mentioned, uh, GABA and uh, KV7? So SAN711 we consider as a precision approach mm -hmm. for treatment of absent seizures. And absent seizures uh, has a tremendous impact on patients' life, both their school life, their work life and social life, because they can have up to 200 attacks a day. And um, the existing therapies, their first line, uh, they work in many patients, uh, but it comes with cognitive impairment. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a problem because they already has, have problems due to their absences. Mm -hmm. And uh, also 20% um, of the patients are not considered, as are not treated well with existing therapies. Mm -hmm. And sans 11 uh, modulates an ion channel, which is specifically and exclusively expressed in the part of the brain where uh, these seizures start and are maintained. Mm -hmm. And therefore we consider a, there's no effect on other parts of the brain. Mm -hmm. And we consider this as a precision approach for, for this disease. Um, we have shown in animal models that it is effective for absent seizures. And uh, we have also conducted a phase one study which confirmed that it is very well tolerated and have a very benign safety profile. Mm -hmm. So we are looking very much forward to move that into patients uh, in, in childhood epilepsies, uh, where we will start with resistant patients. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we can go to juvenile uh, absent seizures and myoclonic absent seizures. And those three indications are often indications where we can to have premium pricing. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, speaking of that, how much of a value driver is San 7-Eleven for San Yona? Uh, proof of concept is a huge value driver for mm -hmm. the company, for the shareholders, for the deal we can make with the with third parties. Mm -hmm. And uh, San 7-Eleven is the program within epilepsy where we can get to that point fastest. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, I, I'm considering whether to do two proof of concept studies mm -hmm. in different indications in order to have two shots of gold. Mm -hmm. uh, but that will require a bit more money right now. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, you've, uh, epilepsy is not your only focus. Uh, you're also looking at other indications, including major depressive uh, depression disorder. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about your, your other programs? Yeah, so, so we are focused on epilepsy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we have several drugs which are addressing other indications, mm -hmm. and such as major depressive disorders and, and also inflammatory bowel diseases. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we are positioning them for partnering, but we may invest a bit in some of those programs mm -hmm. uh, in order to create value mm -hmm. uh, in the partner situation and also get the deal done. Mm -hmm. And then I would also just mention Tisafansen, um, which is under regulatory approval in, in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And if we got, get approval in Mexico, mm -hmm. then we have the opportunity to to broaden it to other South American countries. Okay. Well, you mentioned partnering. That's a big part of your business development. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? How, how, how big of a, of a thing is partnering for yeah. Sanyona? We, we, we actually fortunately positioned that we selected two new drug candidates mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this winter, and uh, one for epilepsy, a KV-7 program, and one uh, uh, for, for major depressive disorders. And we now have six development programs, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we certainly p plan to, to, to do, develop those in collaboration with partners. So it is essential for Sanyona to make partnerships, mm -hmm. uh, and we're quite good at it. Mm -hmm. It's also a source of income, uh, and uh, we will use the proceed for such partnerships to invest in our own epilepsy programs, mm -hmm. and then also be less dependent on the financial market. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, speaking of sources of income, Sanyona is currently under undergoing a rights issue, raising approximately 140 million Swedish kroner. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how you will use these funds? We, we will use the funds to uh, progress selected candidates mm -hmm. uh, in development, uh, to uh, support our business development activities, mm -hmm. and then for Sant 7-Eleven. Uh, and one third will go for development of Sands of Eleven in absence seizures, mm -hmm. and one third for other programs. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pay back some debt, and then we have operational costs. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, you obviously have busy times coming up. Uh, what are the milestones you're most looking forward to in, here in 2024? Yeah, apart from, from the clinical programs, which development of the clinic programs just talked about, mm -hmm. then I'm looking forward to making our next collaboration agreement. Mm -hmm. And then potentially see the approval and launch of this offense in, in Mexico mm -hmm. for obesity. And, and these two events then will create income and enable us to progress much more uh, in our pipeline. Mm -hmm. Well, great. We're looking forward to that. And uh, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you.